to record assessment results is very, very easy and simple. What might not be quite as obvious is how you track your results compared to previous assessments. You can set the assessment record sheet to be either just in your account so that you record all assessment results, or you can set it to be in your account and your client's account. So that means your clients can record their assessment results from inside your website's integration, and then you'll be able to see the results by viewing their record sheet from inside the main site in your portal. So this is how you would record some results, and then I will show you how you compare it to previous results and track. The assessment record sheet automatically only has the assessment tests that you put into each assessment. So you won't be given a record sheet with every single assessment that you can possibly record. In the case of this one, we've got a CLAT test for our movement screen and we've just got body composition analysis. And that's all we put into the assessment. So that's all that's on the record sheet. Let's record a result for the CLAT test and then some body composition results. And what you'll see is as soon as you finish putting in the skin fold test, it will calculate for you the lean mass, the fat mass, and the body fat percentage of your client. Let's go up to the top of the screen and then save everything. Once saved, you can come down and compare the results to previous assessments. And you do this by clicking on these little buttons here. So we'll click and up comes all your previous results. So for the case of movement screens, you've got all the writing that you recorded for your previous results. So you can compare and see how they're moving through and progressing with their results. Close that down and we can come down to the body fat analysis. Now, as this is more numerical, you can have great charts to illustrate it. So we'll click on this and up cups your chart. Your results at the top, so you've got all the results from previous assessments. As you can see, you've got the weight, each skin fold measurement, lean mass, fat mass, and body fat percentage. Now, when they're all in the chart like this, it's pretty hard to see what you're actually looking at, but you can choose to take things out and put other things in. So if you just wanted to see their weight and how that was tracking, you just click these ticks at the top and that'll take out everything else. So all you have is their weight and you can see there's a nice little line that shows how it's gone down and actually how that's sped up between the last two assessments. If you wanted to add their body fat percentage, you just click on that button. And of course the chart changes because the scale gets a lot wider, but you can see again that the body fat percentage follows a similar pattern, stayed quite steady and then came down recently. If you wanted to look at just the body fat percentage, you take out the weight and you get your body fat percentage graph on its own. You can pull that one out. If you wanted to look at, for example, just the skin folds and how they'd individually changed, you can have a look at each one. Add them in and each thing that you put in, there'll be a little code here telling you which color is which item. And you can get a really nice chart that just shows you the movements in every single skin fold. You can do the same for lean mass, fat mass, or as I say, keep everything in there. But this is what you'll get for anything that's numerical. So you'll be able to see any lines, graphs and charts for anything over all of the results that you've ever recorded in an assessment. Just close that down. And that's how you record assessment results. Your clients will have access to exactly the same options from inside your website integration, and they will be able to see the exact same charts. But if you choose not to put it into the integration, you can still record all of the assessments and have complete control and have all of the charts. So it's entirely up to you whether you share it with them or you just have it for yourself.